Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? They're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Man, no wonder I such a bad dream today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Oh, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going with just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? We need to gather the men first. Oh, we're waiting for the guys. On their way. Then we'll give the beasts some hell. Welcome to the theater. But anyone deemed unnecessary uh, is just This off. happens wow. all the time. But why? Why to us? They keep raising the standards. Last so, time that's our plan. Unable. The station this next to this one is Revolution Square. One of us. Red. And Revolution is spitting distance to Polis. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in, then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome, and have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Look, I don't make the rules, okay? Who does that? Is it so hard to either accept us or send us on our way? The higher-ups decide. We sent the message. Now, you must wait. to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. I disgust myself. Here we sit, drinks, party nights, when all around us radiation, death, decay, and endless war. Death and decay. That's exactly why we need theater. The bank and the show warms your body and soul. Without that, I will may as well end it all. There are only so many Feast in the time of plague. Wow. That is so, a really appetizing smell you have here, Simeon. Is it something new? The scythe. No. As if one of the measures had a thing for me. An older shot food. He told me all about their standards about the racial struggle to keep humans free from mutations. But really, they're just Sorry. dumping the dependence. Gotcha. Sorry. Yeah! Show something we know. Why? What happened? Mitya didn't make it. How? That's a demon. Back. So a scary, demon just appeared. like the real thing. We a all demon. hit the ground and Look shot. Look at the flapping wings! It's attacking! 
No, no one suffered that's just flaps. It swings like but this Vitya when taking off. Up. And my dad saw lots of demons. We're right, Uncle Misha. This is a demon. When do we become your father? Have you got enough money to last a week? A week? Two days, maybe. Then my life is over. And it took so long to save up. These bullets are no. good. It could Despite be being him, at least I had some fun in the end. What? You give up already? Shit. You can still make it to Stalkers, instead of mere AIDS. Look, now I you're just being days. greedy. So drinks are on me. These are great. Buy them before the prices go up. These will surely make your enemy work up a sweat. Best thing to have when there's many of them and only one of you. Grenades! A portal of regular solid smoke. So add. Lard. Roast bacon. Overheats like hell, but luckily you can fix this with radiator. Bullets, bullets, purchase, exchange, sale. Other stuff. Best prices around, I promise. Fish. Fresh fish from Venice. Fish smoked, dried, salted. Leather. Best yes. leather goods. Original designs. Low prices. Shrooms. Great shrooms. Can't Boys. find better stuff Boys. anywhere. Exchange sale. This is great stuff. The best you'll find. I don't know, it's prohibited. Maybe I'll just get a drink instead. We spend the We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the theater. Well, a couple of days ago, we seen on the revenge at the platform hiding from his wife. Come on, don't make us. I just can't see the man. Hey, you! Stop! Show me your tickets. Hey, who's hitting who? Did you hear? Oh, sure. Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room.
I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But, <laughs> I trust you, they will handle the race far above our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is immeasurable. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his uh, terror of our city. <laughs> victory as human intelligence triumphs over the mutants. Speaking of mutants, even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beast, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. When they went back to the traditional recipe, the new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! And tonight's show goes on. It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music. The famous accordion player, Kola Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottle. A round of applause, please! My soul will never sound the same. Your music has touched strings with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean. The most scorching spectacle of today. Our fire show. A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please.
completely mind-blowing. Incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charmed. <laughs> thank you, dear friends, thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo. The favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Viktor Minchuk with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> ecstasy and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to wherever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, the Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. innovation of the century. Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Moscow underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozarny. <laughs> Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye, farewell. Parting is such sweet
Артем! Ну, enjoy the show! Sorry, man, time to move on. You patron of the art. Oh, Pavel Igorovich. So glad to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore? Helen, no, что? I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Эх ты, сучугубу! Жанна, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. Artyom? No, he's alive and doesn't Looks waste like his you're mind. a bit woman hungry, huh? Ah? In that case, oh, you just marry him. This is a hard life, and I'm the soft one. What's going on? What else? Another war. Looks like the fucking commies are going to fight the Reich again. Shit. Is war all they know? Instead of wasting ammo on each other, they could be wiping out the vermin. Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive. Huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are. Two of our specials from the old stock. Been infusing it for half a year. Opa! That's great! So, let's drink, Artyom! Ah. Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but uh, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the Red Line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Wow. So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order. And everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true. But no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 no. Pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes. Yes. Look, look at the far stations. They're freaking eat each other. Sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? Order, order is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Блин. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Stop that, blad! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. Good day, sir. 
Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Here? What about Comrade Korbin? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Move it! That's all. You're a smart guy, so you understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. Information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cool. Okay. But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us, too. Comrade General! Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbut. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence. He's Nitsky, or one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cut the chase, hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lonya must start learning how to improve his, uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Ah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! <laughs> Protocols. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a thug! God damn it! Alright. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers! Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastard! And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my Oh, son. I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything.
I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Fuck Kornut! Fuck my father! And Morozov! And the revolution and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother! Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here! Get in there! This is the way to freedom! Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father in those vents! Well, good luck to you! Titan, sit down, Gordon. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my... I have a way of doing it without a spinning frontal it assault is hopeless. But if we go underground in the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesniski bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target.
I see this is taking forever. Hey, what the fuck? Hey! Already. First you order a patrol, then you expect me to sit here. Shooting is one thing, but we can't burn people alive. What do you mean? People? Shooting? Are you out of it? Aren't you talking about the refugees? Huh? What refugees? Who the hell is Let there? Let the special department handle them. I'm talking real rats, tails and all. They multiply mm. like crazy. So well, you go and do it. We have to cut down the three kick. Yes, sir. Um, everything else, I guess. Shit. I wish I had some food here. It's not as scary when you have some food, at least. Shit. Attention! Enemy close!
What the hell are you doing here? Who's gonna patrol the premises? Me alone? Come on, get to work, all of you! Yes, sir. Ivan, stay! Did you take care of the rats? I want them all burnt! Commander, we're not Nazis. Shooting is one thing, but we can't burn people alive. What do you mean, people? Shooting? Are you out of it? Aren't you talking about the refugees? What refugees? Let the special department handle them. I'm talking real rats, tails and all. They multiply like crazy. So you go and do it. On the double. Yes, sir. Hey.
One woman.
bad for the loss. Did you ever do watch duty there? Yeah, it's a creepy place. The station's nearby. There's the machine gun, the searchlight, the comrades are around. And something rustles in the cobwebs and the sound just freezes blood. Why not burn those whips? We do that all the time. In a couple of weeks, the damn beast had everything covered. Damn, they sure are a lot of trouble. Maybe we should just weld the gate shut and be done with it. <laughs> Stations nearby. There's the machine gun, the searchlight, the comrades. Are Something must be in the cobwebs. This freezes me. Why not burn those whips? We do that all the time. In a couple of weeks, the damn beast that favors the cold for shit. Damn. They sure are a lot of trouble. Maybe we should just weld the gate shut. It's done with it. How do we work? The crane will have the territory. The only way is to keep that damn no, watch no, no, that. What the? How should I know? You look like a human. You a large back at that. But when I lift the place up, no. Don't worry about it. Weird shit starts happening after a six-hour watch. Maybe. But somebody's stealing the parts of food. Probably one of ours. Waiting till our backs are turned, then selling shit to Hansa. Either way, the brass better not hear you talking. If you say too much, they'll kill it with you.
Stay down, or your brain goes splat. Wait a minute. Artyom, is it you? I was able to send the report back to the Order via my old acquaintance, Andrew the Blacksmith. At least Miller will know that I am alive, that I haven't completed the mission, but haven't resigned from it either. <laughs>